Blue Zap versus Mirror Blaster, part one. Blue Zap was out again on his regular Guardian patrols. Not quite at Cardinal level, more of Blue Zap and his normal activities as being a Guardian sort of MacArthur. But he had purchased himself a vehicle with recent finances from happy citizens who felt the uh, the Cardinals had done a great job in preventing nuclear war. And he purchased a blue zap mobile, as it were, and was just coming down Athlon Drive. Isabella Drive, actually. The police radio was on, because he had a police radio, and he Heard a um, report about a robbery which had just taken place at St. George Bank in Arendelle. And he was um, just just right near that. He took the turn to the right and drove up quickly and uh, turned up the Arendelle and turned to the left a bit and then turned right again and he was pulled up and looked towards the bank of the Arendelle shops. And um, there, was a, there was an elderly lady just there at the bus interchange before before the bank, and she sort of went, hey, uh, he went that way, I think, she said, pointing up the road. He had a funny coloured jacket on. So Bluezak continued driving up the road, around the shops, past the church, the Uniting Church on the right, and came to the end of the road, and he looked left, and he looked right. And he couldn't really see the fella, so he decided he'd risk it and turn right. He turned right, and drove up the road a bit, and a bit before going eastwards, and a bit before the roundabout, there was another road on the left, going north, and he looked up at, and there was a fellow in a strange, funny jacket, about to get into a what looked like a Holden Commodore car. Blue Zap drove up the road, got out of the car and confronted him. The bloke turned and looked at him. Ah, the Blue Zap. Not surprised to see you. I'm Mirror Blaster. How the hell are you? That looks like money you've absconded with, lawbreaker, said the Blue Zap put his hand out and did a few blue zaps. Maybe it is, but you'll never know. Try this on for size. Out of his hands emanated a light, sort of glowing silvery substance and surrounded the head of blue zap. Blue zap's eyes sort of could not see the world anymore, but it looked, all he could see was... Anywhere he turned his head and looked, he was surrounded by a maze of mirrors reflecting his own reflection. He looked down and he could see his feet reflected and wherever he looked, his body was reflected. But it was still where he was. Mirror Blaster, who was just there somewhere, said to him, try that on the size, punk, and shoved him and pushed him and Blue, Bass, Blue, Blue Zap fell down on the ground. He sat there, found the car's door, and just sat there and just waited as hearing the Holden Commodore drive away because there wasn't anything he could do at this stage. He couldn't see anything. But slowly the effect of the mirror blast diminished. And after about five to ten minutes, he could see regular again and see the world. But mirror blast was gone, and so was the cash. And uh, Blue Zap hadn't gotten the bad guy this time. Part one of Blue Zap versus Muriel Blaster. <laughs>